Hi, my name is Topman Paul DK and this is Code Tribe Extra. I want to demonstrate how to install and have Ubuntu running on our phones you know, using the terminal, the terminal app Temux. Okay, um, this is how you uh, grant storage access to um, to Temux. Make it, you can access your storage, your phone storage after doing this, after this command. You know, and, Selecting allow. So let's go ahead with installations. Um, my GitHub account here. I have a copy of the repository that has the um, uh, what the, the script that performs installation. Uh, yeah, you can go to find out, or you can just look for it. Um, if you follow me on GitHub, get it there. Ubuntu in Temux. Okay, see the um, instructions. You know the things we need to do. Right, we need to have certain things installed. I have a few of them installed already. I have Git. I have. Uh, um, the other guy and then um so i will go ahead and clone it yeah I'll go ahead and clone it and do uh, what i need to do to have it installed so um, i will go over here where we have this green <coughs> um button written code click on it and then copy this https i'll go to my terminal and clone it so I'll do git clone uh, uh, um, I'll make sure I need to make sure I'm in the home directory. Yes, yeah, we will have Tilda as um, the path. So that's it. I'm cloning now. It's cloned. So uh, the next thing I want to do is make sure that this guy is here. So let's check. It's here already. You can see copyright C2015. Let's check for this one as well. I don't think it's here. I don't remember installing this one. So it's not here. Let's install it. PKJ install P root. Yeah. Um, y for yes. Enter. Making progress. It's necessary you have you run Ubuntu. If um, um, okay, let me move into the directory now. If you really want to do your project with your phone, because if if you don't do that, you'll be limited in a way very limited so this is a script ubuntu.sh i'm going to make it executable all right <clears throat> if you're watching this i want to believe that this is not strange you understand what's going on here so next thing i want to do is to run this script this is a script that does the installation of ubuntu it's supposed to automatically generate some directories y for yes it's supposed to support, uh, automatically generate some uh, directories and um, and um, files no a script actually a script that i will be using to run ubuntu each time i uh, open my temlux if i run that script it will launch ubuntu uh, so uh, after installation i note, note that it's it's uh, wow this thing is taking longer time than it should how to key the process with control c wow it's actually installing so let's run it again please don't stop your own uh, it takes time as from what i can see here so why for years let's let it complete installation okay so after this installation everything we have here the vim the emacs whatever the gcc they will not be inside ubuntu ubuntu is another environment okay once you just um, start it okay let's finish installing now that's it there yeah. so to i run this start ubuntu this script called start ubuntu when i run it i will be inside ubuntu look at that root at localhost so this is me now inside Ubuntu. So if I go to the root directory and list the content, you should see something very similar to what you see in an Ubuntu environment. Okay. So PKG does not work here again. PKG works in the in time marks, but not here, not inside Ubuntu. So we use apt instead. Right? See what happens when we try to use uh, PKG. If I say PKG update, it does not recognize the command. So I do apt update and it goes ahead to update. So after updating, the next thing you want to do is to upgrade and then you start installing the things you think necessary. If uh, you can check the previous video I did before this one on the same playlist to see how to install, but change the PKG to apt or apt get. Okay, once more, everything we've installed is in our phone but not inside this Ubuntu. You have to start with installing them one after the other. There are things. That, like you can't, you might find it challenging installing Ubuntu in the phone, but this is the best place to install it. 
and you don't you don't even need the sudo command here. You don't need the sudo command. You already signed it as the root user because our prompt ends with hash, not dollar. Now let's check for nano. It's not here. Let's check for um, sudo. It's not here. Like I said, you don't need it here now. The mono is not here. Uh, Python is not here. Uh, Vim is not here. Emacs who are not here. So you have to do the installations. App install or app get install. You get them all installed. You don't even need sudo like I said before. You don't need sudo here. As so long as your prompt ends with hash. If your prompt ends with dollar, they need sudo. So um, in this video, I'm going to be guiding us on how to install uh, Betty. Yeah. So. For, for now, I believe you can install the rest by yourself. So do it to like, share, and subscribe to this um, YouTube channel. Encourage me to do more, you know. And I would like you to follow me on GitHub, Facebook, Twitter. Connect with me on LinkedIn. Let's learn from one another. Thank you so much for watching.